Hello and welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew and today we've got once again another statue unboxing and review. Today we're looking at from Diamond Select's Marvel Gallery Diorama series, The Taskmaster. A lot of you folks probably know the Taskmaster best from, I think, the Avengers when he showed up the most, but my first actual knowledge of him came from reading Deadpool back when the Unlimited series began, and he was the villain in, I think, the second issue. So that was my first taste of what this character can do. I really enjoyed him, and since then, he's really grown to become quite a fan favorite and had a lot more popularity among just usage in the entire comic series. And since that appearance in Deadpool, he's gone on to become a lot more popular. He's been a good guy, he's been a bad guy, he's been a tweener, but he's been used much more frequently for the past decade, if not longer, and used more so in different and unique ways. He's a very interesting character with a really unique look, so I'm very, very excited to actually get my hands on my very first piece of Taskmaster merchandise. So let's take a real quick look at the packaging here, and it's exactly the same what you've seen with any of the Diamond Select Gallery diorama pieces, whether it's Marvel, DC, John Wick, Godzilla, whatever it may be. It's the same large box with windows on the front and each of the sides, as well as that signature diorama sunroof for Taskmaster to get a tan. Well, that's actually gonna be kind of difficult when he's wearing this giant costume, but in theory, he can get himself a nice tan. The back of the packaging has a large photo of Taskmaster, as well as a very short bio that explains who he is and what he does. And it's a pretty solid bio too. It tells you exactly what you need to know in just about two sentences. This package also lets us know that this statue was designed by Joe Allard and sculpted by Rocco Tardamella, another pair of guys we really like very much and whose work has been standout throughout the years we've been looking at Diamond Select pieces. But of course, here on Nerd News Today, we are not mint on box collectors. If you were, this video would be over and it would be terrible. So let's go ahead, bust the Taskmaster out of this packaging and take a look at him from all angles. All right, and here is our Taskmaster statue now out of the packaging, looking pretty interesting here. So the first thing I saw when I got this piece out of the box is that it reminded me a lot of another piece we looked at some time ago on this channel, and that was Deathstroke the Terminator. I think we looked at him either earlier this year or back in 2019, and we liked that piece a lot, actually. It had some really great texture, excellent color, great pose, and yeah, a lot of the things that were seen here very much remind me of that Deathstroke. We've got a pretty similar pose, and it also doesn't hurt that the fact that he's got a sword, just like Deathstroke had a sword, He's got some gun action happening, which Deathstroke did too. He's got holster. He's got all sorts of things on the side that look like it. Similar boots as well. And even similar color because they both have that orange color scheme on them. So uh, there's a lot of similarities between those two. Although the biggest difference between Deathstroke and this Taskmaster piece here is that Taskmaster is definitely a little bit smaller scale-wise. I'm pretty positive that the Deathstroke piece was a little bit bigger, had a larger base too. I remember it being really big, really cool. Uh, I liked it a lot. So really, this is kind of like the Marvel version of that Deathstroke piece, and I think that's a real positive. We totally raved about how much we like that Deathstroke piece, and if you haven't seen that review, I recommend you guys check it out too, because it really is a great piece. But yeah, if you wanted something that's very similar to that, but from the Marvel range, Taskmaster has got you covered. Now, by the way, from this angle here, you might have noticed here that Taskmaster has got a quiver of some arrows, and one of them's kind of bent a little bit funny. Is it broken? Is it busted? Nope, just do that. It's actually, all these arrows here are flexible plastic. They don't come out of this section here, but they are flexible. So yeah, if it happens to you, just straighten it out. Uh, eventually it will kind of fall back into place or look a little better. But let's talk a little more in depth about this piece. And I like to typically start with likenesses, but well, Taskmaster doesn't really have one. He's just got a skull for a face. There actually is some detail in his pupils there. So you can kind of see that there actually is something going on there. It's not just the skull face, but as far as the skull face goes, it looks really good. It looks pretty scary also. Definitely will strike some fear into his enemies or whoever he's about to stab with that sword. And it's also a pretty good expression. You know, skulls always kind of look like they're grinning anyway, but I think it really works here with just what's going on in this piece, the story with this piece. And that story is pretty evident. It's very obvious that Taskmaster is in the middle of a fight here because we've got his shield covered in some gun blasts here, which are transparent plastic, which I always love. By the way, these are super duper sharp, so be careful about those. You've also got some gunshots down here in the base, one over there, and then one closer to this side. So yeah, he's very much in the middle of a fight, and we can see he's also about to strike, because he's got that sword at the ready. The sword, by the way, does not move. It's pretty much glued into place the way it is, unlike those arrows. It's a very action-packed pose, though, that's for sure. Good storytelling here, a lot's happening. Very good sense of energy and motion, too. Not just with the fact that he's posed in the very much, uh, you know, if you guys have ever read How to Make Comics the Marvel Way, this is that peak action pose you've got right now. Uh, but he also has the cape too, and that cape is flowing in that direction. It's moving a lot. It's helping direct the eye and direct the energy of the piece. So it's a very, very energetic piece. And speaking of how dynamic it is too, I just love that he's on his back leg here. He's putting all of his uh, weight on the ball of his foot over here. He's kind of more balanced on that one there. Uh, it's very cool. Strong pose, looking good. 
very visually interesting. And I want to spend a little more time too on some of the fabric here because, you know, uh, I, I always love these giant boots here with this giant flap. I don't know what they call that, but I'm always digging that. Um, but yeah, really nice folds here, great folds in that. The cape too, I mean, you got to look at this cape. You have to really admire the work that's gone onto this part of the statue here. Just really wonderful flowing effect to it. Looks really great, looks solid. Gloves, the cloak as well. It just, yeah, you know, I've never ever had any issues with this pair of sculptors. I feel like uh, they always do an excellent bang up job. And again, no exception here with Taskmaster. Color wise, it's a very interesting piece also. Blue and orange are excellent together. The white helps break up that space a little bit, adds a lot to it. Makes them look very stunning too. White always just makes things pop. And with this base here, which is kind of this grayish, brownish, almost actually some little bits of like burnt sand in there, uh, you know, it really helps balance out all of those colors and attract the eye, keep it cemented in there. No pun intended, because this is basically a rockish cement kind of deal, whatever. But you get what I'm saying. This Taskmaster piece is a very, very excellent addition to your Marvel collection here. I really like the pose. I like the paint job also. And speaking of, paint job is very clean. I'm not really seeing too much misprints or miss errors or anything like that. I really do appreciate though how this boot here, both his boots, uh, their soles are kind of dirty. That I think is really a nice little detail. Yeah, just good choices all around. You know, like if anything, this would be a piece I'd actually like to customize a little bit because I could see myself having a lot of fun just putting more of a wash on the character. You know, like there's already some different highlighting going on here. You can see in the leg and the body, but I would love to actually go a little more into those whites and do some more stuff, or especially these brown pouches. Hit it up with a little bit of Agrax Earth Shade to make it darker, then come back in with a dry brush, make these browns pop a little bit more, and mm, chef's kiss, it would look so much better than it already does. But hey, maybe I'll do that off camera another day. That'll be a whole other video. But at the end of the day for this review of Taskmaster, I would say this is a very, very solid entry in the marble range that Diamond's been doing. Really solid piece, and really a standout. You know, like I kind of said at the start, this thing reminded me of Deathstroke, and that was a positive because I really love that Deathstroke piece. And I feel pretty similarly about this version here. Good use of color, wonderful sculpting. I love the cape. I love how the cloak works. I think it all looks really good together. A lot of action as well in this very dynamic, but also kind of compact statue. I don't really even have much to nitpick about here, so that says a lot about it. I'm really digging this one. I'm also digging the fact that I don't have to nitpick as much anymore because it seems like diamond stuff has really improved the past two years we've been looking at them in such in-depth quantity. And I think you shouldn't underestimate the popularity of Taskmaster, especially with the Black Widow movie coming out. A lot of folks are going to be thinking about him again a little bit more so. And there's not going to be that much more different merch out there for the character. In fact, I imagine after that Black Widow movie comes out, it's going to be a bit of a dry spell. So I recommend if you like Taskmaster or you just like the look of this piece, because even as a standalone statue, it's really awesome looking. I'd recommend this one right here for you guys. And at 50 bucks, it is a great price for a great piece. Taskmaster is a guy that doesn't really give a lot of love in toy form or statue form. Not even that much in comic form, although it has been picking up the past few years. But I'm a big fan of this piece. They've taken a character that otherwise has looked kind of silly in a lot of ways in the past, and they've made him look pretty serious and very threatening. So for that reason and everything else we talked about in this video, I think he's worth adding to your collection. And if you'd like to do that, go ahead and use our Amazon affiliate links in the description for this video below. It helps us out and it costs you nothing extra. And best of all, if you order it from Amazon and don't like the version you get, maybe there's a little paint spot here and there or something like that, as long as Amazon still has that statue in stock, you could exchange it for a new one that's hopefully better. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see all the other cool stuff we do here on this channel. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think about this version of Taskmaster. So stick around, we've got more statue reviews and figure reviews coming soon. Thanks for watching, see you guys later.